Here's the OP7 Redline Triple LED Tailgate Light Bar. There's a ton of installs videos out there, but as you probably found out, most of them tell you to actually splice into your tow hitch wire. Even the instructions from OP7 tells you to be able to put the reverse light from there. F-150s don't have very many install videos on there because if you have the Bliss or the tow package, what happens is it'll turn off your safety bliss and it also will make you think that you actually have a, a trailer installed. If you have a tailgate step, that yours will have this funny little bracket back here. If you can't mount it with the because of that little bracket that's right there, and you'll see mine. I went ahead and used the uh, clips that comes with your and mounting thing. Here, let's get it over there so you can see that. Can you see those clips right there? Well, I went and bought those little white spacers from Lowe's for 56 cents for two to be able to add those in there. You'll also need to be able to check the gap between right here on both sides to make sure that your bumper is is level give you enough room for the tailgate to actually open and not hit them because we're spacing the light bar out if you need to adjust your bumper what i and i did i had to loosen these three 21 millimeter nuts on both right and left hand side so what if I told you there's a way to install this light bar without cutting or splicing any wires? And even better than that, if you have the 2016 year model with the same harness, you might not even have to remove your tail lights at all. Both of the tail light harnesses run down to the bottom and they combine for a single plug that is right above the spare tire. So if you don't have the same year model of truck, I can also show you how I've actually pinned out from the tail light to know which wire goes to that particular plug. And more than likely you can find the schematic that will actually help you which plug this is. So I'll show you how to be able to take the light out, which everybody else does the same thing. I'll show you how I pinned it and I'll show you how to take the little cat protector off to be able to get to the um, wire connectors inside of the plug. So we're underneath the truck, and there's the tow hitch connector plug. Tail light harness comes out there, follow it up back up, goes all the way across this little eye beam. The other one does the same thing, comes out, follows it all the way up there. So when it comes comes down, tees off here, and splices out into the three different connectors. One goes to your tailgate, one that goes to your trailer hitch, which this dark colored one is the one that will give you the errors and go to your bliss. This one here is just your tail lights. And if you push this little button right here, you can actually get it to disconnect and there's the little cap that you can pull out you can actually solder on the four pin connector that they give you here's the instructions from op 7 we tell you how to be able to wire in that four pin connector underneath the truck right there it is and the reason why I chose to do it this way is because I can, can unplug that. This one, which comes off of that, is your ground. And that ground goes back up around, and I, I traced it back up in here, and I put a, the nice little coil back on it, and it goes to the ground to the frame, where the tail lights actually go to. The other white wire, which makes you wonder, why did they do two white wires? It's your reverse light wire. And right there it is. And so I put these little 
um, bullet connectors on so that way you can actually unplug the bullet connector and now do the other bullet connector that goes to the ground and with that right there that's what's going to the red light bar and so if the red light bar ever goes out I don't have to cut the plug off I don't have to do anything except for add another bullet plug to this to plug it back into my wire harness I have a drawing with the right numbers of these if you actually have this harness number right here if you've got the same part number of a harness which it looks like it's a 13a 409ka or a, a gl 3t 13a and the pins will be the same you won't even have to try to uh, pull the tail light out at all you can just come down here pop this little cap off so i'll show you how to pop the cap off next all you do is you take a little screwdriver flathead screwdriver like this and you stick it into each one of these little rectangle holes on each end and it's just got a little clip on there and then once you get it pried out this is coming out grab that now that's that's the pin separator and then the inside of it looks like so so you pull that little thing out right there and you push this in you know so it's going to come out the back side so i'll pull one of these wires out let's see i'll just pull i'll pull this one out right right here that's what it looks like now all i did was you splice about three quarters of an inch of the um four pin connector shield off so that way you don't have to try to shove the shield and that end into the connector and then you see I soldered that on to the connector itself and then all you do is you just shove that right back in and it clicks into place that, that little plastic thing is grabbing a hold of right there the number one little hole pin which is over here number one is going to be that one that I just pulled out showed you that's going to be the left hand stop and turn number two which is that one right there that one goes to your right hand stop and turn and number that's at three, four, and five over. But in the wiring diagram, I'll show you later. I'll put pictures in for it. The number three on the plug on the parking lot, it's actually this one. So come over here. It's, it's this one right here. And then the reverse lot is that one. So that's where I'm tying into the reverse lot right there. So, and if you see, there's not a ground on this plug. It's actually back over there. That's where both of the turn or the tail lights actually tie into your ground is that one. Now what I did, you can see that I actually put a eyelet in and I, I put the um, heat shrink wrap around it and everything. Matter of fact, you can barely see part of that wire right there. When you get all those soldered in, plug back in there like this, then you're ready just to take your little cap, your spacer cap. You see how it goes in around all your little plugs, and that's why I'm saying it's the spacers for each one. It keeps them from um, shorting out on each other. And you just push that back in, and it clicks right back into place. And it's there. Now you can just plug it back in right there until it clicks plug my my two other reverse light and your ground back in
So if you don't have the same year model of truck or the same part number for the wire harness, you can just take your tail light out, eight millimeter. pop right out and then you undo your little plug so now you have this and it looks very similar right so you don't have to take this cap out but it comes out the exact same way where you can put a little screwdriver in there and pull that little guard out and you'll see the exact same connector pins inside of there now um, I have from a forum like right here is the schematic for that plug so when we look at that well then it starts over here which you can see the the little connector clip thing so that's one two three and four one is the ground that's the one that's going all the way down there to the frame that i showed you then two is the turn signal and stop three is the park and four is a reverse so looking at this see there's the thing so you could actually um, verify it which one of those plugs down there on the harness is this what I was doing was I was setting this over here to this squawk box basically part whenever you had a connection uh, that's how I was I was finding the wires you could take you a little wire and just shove inside of here so see you can just take your wire like that and if you have an alligator clip and this is only to keep from taking your uh, uh, cap off clip this side and, and go underneath your truck and Check it with the other side and, and find which plug goes to which one. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could actually find a ground, which anything would actually really work. Now what I did was I put that in the number two plug, which is supposed to be your um, stop and uh, turn signal. I've got a board on the break and you can see that I'm getting voltage through it and if you absolutely have to be able to splice into this plug um, you can still do the same thing about taking this cap out of here there's the little separator pin that's the pins right there and then to be able to push those pins out you just put a screwdriver in that little tab down there in the bottom you pull it out and at the same time you have to push that pin to be able to push it out of the plug so I'm going to push it away from me okay I can't do it by holding all this but I'm just trying to show you where it's at I will, I'll pull this pin out and then um, show you what it looks like outside of the connector all right, so see so you can see the connector. It's the same little connector we were just looking at. I've got it pushed out of there just by pulling a little tab. Now what you can do is you can take your wire, um, you can just solder on just right there, and um, the whole thing will go ahead and push right back in, and now you've essentially spliced into the plug without cutting a wire. And since this is crimped on from the factory, I don't know if I can ever get it to focus. Right there, since it's crimped on, you can actually reheat it back up, pull your wire back off, and nothing else is ever said. I mean, it's just, it's got a little solder on it, so what? So now you have uh, uh, can actually still never touch your factory wiring as far as cutting it is concerned or taking any shielding off so you don't take any of that shielding off so now to get it back in there as you see the direction it's got the little 
flats across the tops there. Here's the that one, and you can see how it's got the flat across there. You got to get it oriented right, and you just shove it right back into the back side of that that plug. Right there. Just push it right back in. You'll hear it snap into that that little clip because see you can see it's not in there yet. There it was. So see, it's already snapped in there. You push it back down. They're all lined back up. You take your little cap. And cap, and it doesn't matter which way it goes. That's the same both sides. See, it, all it is is just a spacer. It's an insulator cap. Is what it is. And uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Here, I'll set it down. Well, no, I got it now. All right. Oh, don't got it. There it is. All right, then you just push it until it snaps in there. You're done.